Do, 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 do. Hey, greetings and salutations. Welcome to the Citadel of High Volt. I'm here as your host, Captain, here to go over our recap for the war of the quarterfinals, I do believe, for the Meyer League Clan War. It was a good war. We do appreciate these guys. Brought it down to the wire. We did come out with the perfect, which was pretty tits. Getting into the stats, we do have a couple people who had some sweet six packs. We did have some swagging up at the top, if you didn't notice, not because they didn't want to, it's just we went three for four, so kudos to those guys. A little shout out to them. But further on, getting again into the six packers, you have myself there at number nine. You got the evil with number ten. You got Zebo Bo 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 at number twelve. You have King Ali at number seventeen. Dragon with twenty one. WBW with 24, and the UK at number 29. As far as our hit hitters, those are the people that usually get that like 95 to 99% range, somewhere in there where it's like, makes you think you're going to get the triple, but you either time fail or run random bit and just ends your day. For those people, we do have the Panic Attack there at number 30 with a 96. We got Big Mastro there with 27 with a 95. Oh, I missed him, Asi. With a 98. We got Sangria with a 95. Do, do, do. Chasty Foil with a 99. 1% away from a 6 pack. We got Albi with a 97. We got King Ali with a 96. And some swag peoples, but it is what it is. Getting into the Decks. We're going to start with number one, Pai Sahid. He's going to be doing a drag bat attack. Something that I do like to see more or less when nowadays versus when it first came out. Because now it seems like, yeah, the strats or the strategy part of it is there. It's not just spam like kind of was when it first came out. <laughs> but, anyways, he's going to have his queen up there at 1030 and E drag over at 130, trying to get Fonosh. Queen's just going to be doing her little old thing. She's going to be able to phase her ability to get the enemy queen. Gets some more buildings. e is just taking his little time. Nothing's really threatening him. Does have an archer trying to pick off a couple percentage over there. He's going to be able to rage all that stuff going into that town hall. Unfortunately, it's a double scatter, so those loons are about to kick the bucket. King down at the bottom. His only pur pur purpose is uh, basically get the outside trash. He will be able to speed through outside of that single target inferno. He's going to try to blimp up to get some more of that bottom filler part of the uh, base, but boop, from here on out, just waiting for the dragon still kind of floating mosey. Does have a couple freezes in the bag since the bats got wiped out, and it's enough to get the triple. So kudos to him. This next one we got is number four. For this one, Thomas is going to be starting up at meow, 1 o'clock with his DK. He's going to mosey down, be baby trying to <laughs> encourage that king to go turn and go inside now to help tank for the queen. He is going to get the CC pull. Not exactly sure what the double baby drag was supposed to be doing. But the king is enough to take out the town hall by himself. And the baby's finally croaked from the poison. So queen can just finally step up and engage for that wizard tower. The way that she's going to be taking is enough to help encourage for that air defense. He's going to have the slammer coming in from 2 o'clock into that wizard tower with a lava coming in behind. He's got a bunch of lunars that are going to be going directly into that eagle. Removing it from circulation. And then from here on out, he's just going to be a bully and trying to get into the rest of this base. Does have a skeleton for the queen. And it has a bunch of swag spellings going in for that multi target inferno -ish. And then from here on out, general cleanup. And well done to Thomas. Next one we got is number five with yours truly. 
This one I kind of fuddled it up with my entry, so please do not laugh at me, even though Mammoth dead when we were on voice. Purpose was to get that cannon to help establish Stefanos, so that way when this queen is dropped, with the wall breaker in behind, she can just go directly in, have to sacrifice my last little loon in order to ensure that the cannon drops. BK got a little bit too low for my tasting, so there's auto ability right there. Thankfully, he's stuck around just long enough for the queen to get rid of a lot of that DPS. Get the poison down just enough for those headhunters. They can't do much of anything to my queen. Poison's going to be enough to get rid of those skeletons so the queen can lock onto that baby, not forcing me to have to drop a rage for it. Time that the poison peters out. The skeletons are very finally done their job. Dropping the rage enough for me to encourage the queen to step up for those storages. Speed this up. Drop the headhunter slightly too soon. <laughs> but the siege barracks up there at the top. Queen's going to be able to take out that king with the nice freeze. And then here I am a dumb bitch and let my queen die. No ability. Swag ability. And then electing to do the hybrid, pushing in. Healer switch is enough. Hogs get to the one multi-target inferno, freezing for the other to try to encourage that the single or the multi would retarget to the miners. Was enough to help. So from here on out, general cleanup, just dropping the troops when necessary for them to get their respective buildings. Now the air defense is down, minion comes in, and nice. The next one we got. I just wanted to make uh, a fun joke at myself. Not going to show the whole attack. I just love this entry. Speed this up because I got my blimp coming in. Doot, doot. So now that the compartment has been tampered with, all the CC troops are going to be coming at me. Unfortunately, I dropped my healers too soon. They're going to save the Yeti and new meta. My healers are going to tank for my queen as she engages the CC. Something you don't quite see too often. And then I have to force so many spells in order to try to salvage the attack. Luckily I did. As for number 8, we're going to have Archimius. She's going to be doing some zaps. She's waiting for the queen to round the corner. So that way she can do these zaps with her on the sweeper and expos. Do -do 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 -do. She dead. Yes, the Earthquake. And then from here on out, he's just going to be nice and easy with the funnelings and all that jazz. Wizards to the outside, luckily being tanked by that BK. All they got left to do is potentially get that storage, but it is not necessary. Queen is going to step up after that Archer Tower is down. Queen is going to be able to get that bomb tower. Unfortunately, she's going to phase that ability for a bunch of skeletons before coming out and rounding the corner to her death. Blimp coming in directly for that town hall. Does have the hound and five goblins in order to take it out. And then from here on out, just enduring the lalo. Slowly coming in with more of it as the attack goes around this corner. Electing to Tome to ensure an Eagle Strike. Wounds are finally getting into that nice little haste with an extra freeze to ensure that they can survive with that Disco spell. Doesn't quite get the split that he wanted, but it doesn't matter. He has enough of the wounds to split, so that way when they're coming into that last Wizard Tower, ironically enough, he's going to ta be taking on... The two loons rather than the 30. The next base is number 10 with J. He's going to be coming in down there at 430. Gets out that mortar so that way the king, he can start at 4. 
get a nice jump into the piece. He's going to be going to the left compartment of the Inferno Tower. The Queen is going to be able to go to the right. Ice Golem does his job. King is going to be able to pop his ability. He's kind of tanking for the little skeletons before finally deciding to go for the Queen. Queen takes out the other Inferno. The compartment that she's kind of standing in at the moment is enough to get to the air defense. Has the phase ability because of the Headhunters. Baby Drag, or the Inferno Drag, I should rephrase, finally steps up and gets it. Queen does not get the Archer Tower, but the Loon will. Electing to come in with the Slammer up there at 130. Minions in behind for the trash buildings. Before the Lalo is coming in, more directly at that Town Hall. Waiting for the loons to get somewhat close to that town hall, so that way when they get in there, nicely times. Doesn't quite get the slammer, but doesn't have to worry about it. More Lalo coming in from 10, not 8 o'clock. Electing to freeze for the air defense. Does have three hounds on it, so he's going to be fine for a bit. Slammer is actually doing a lot of pull-ahead work that they got. Fortunately, that eagle is going to be up a little bit longer than expected. Slammer finally coming in clutch to get rid of that eagle. And then he's going to be able to finish off the rest of this base as the loons down at the bottom can do what they need to do. And then the minions are going to be able to tank for that air sweeper so that way the loons can come back up. We does have an unfortunate wizard tower there left alone, so he just decides to do the slingshot engage to get to it. Next one we got is number 13, Boop. Snorlax attacks. He's going to be able to zap that air sweepers down. King is going to be going up towards 1030. Queen is going to be bouncing down enough to get to those Teslas. Queen slightly tanking for the moment, but she will be able to remove them quickly, so that way she can save her ability for a little bit later on. Dragons are coming in. Inferno Baby Dragon is trying to do his little business onto the Hound, but it doesn't matter. Having to tome early because of the Headhunters, I do believe. And then from here on out, just speed it up a little bit. Just rolling tight with the dragons. Slammer's doing all it can over at the other side. Loons finally come out and split. And then he's got just a straight shot for his bats. All he has to do is freeze for those splash. Does get the wizard tower. And then the other wizard tower. And then from there on out, he does have dragons and clean up all about. It's a good job to him. And for our last one, we have number 17 with King Ali. This one, he's just going to do the zap again. I think he's going to be waiting for that queen to step up so he can get her with the Inferno. And there she goes. Gonna have the two loons try to get rid of that mortar. Does get it with a splash damage crash. Electing for the ice golem to help tank for that king so he can round the corner a little bit easier. King or the queen finally steps up to help speed things up. Minions to the outside to ensure the king doesn't try to bounce. Archer queen just slowly doing her thing. And then from here on out, just doing the lalo, having the Slammer coming more directly to that eagle. Fortunately, does eat a Sam for it, but it doesn't matter. Elected to freeze as he continues on with his Lalu. And 
And from here on out, he still has two wounds in the bag with cleanup in behind. Slinger finally pops. Unfortunately, the Wizard Tower is tanking that. But at this point, it doesn't matter. He got it. So easy cleanups, just has to come back for this gold mine over here, 1030. And that wraps up our recap. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And with that,